Hello, I am Dr. Tosif Umar. I hope you are doing so fine. I wish you good luck and good health. If you or your loved one is suffering from diabetes or pre-diabetes. Here in this short video, we will have a summarized review of the errors on this AccuCheck Active Glucometer. We will also see what to do in case you encounter an error message. Let me show you the error message I encountered. This here was the error E1 that I encountered while checking blood glucose of a relative. Now if you encounter E1 error ever on this device, it could mean multiple things. Number one, you have not inserted the strip properly or you have not inserted the strip adequately. Let's say that you have inserted the strip upside down. Do not forget that there are arrow marks. The strip should go like this, right? That the arrow should go like this. If the strip is upside down, glucometer will not work. The strip must not be bent before being inserted. If you bend the strip and then insert it, you are likely to get this error because the strip is now broken. Also, there may be some liquid blood spot etc. over here over the measurement window. This here is the sensor. You may need to clean it using perhaps a spirit swab, spirit swab, alcohol swab and then let it dry. Do not scratch this area. Simply wipe it off. So for error E1 that you had seen on this screen right now you may be inserting the strip upside down. You may need to insert the strip adequately. You must not bend the strip. You must not touch this portion with any liquid. Okay. It could simply mean that there is error with the strips that were not properly stored. The strips were left open. See here in this portion there is a moisture absorbent surface. So if you kept these strips open for a while without lid on, the strips could have been wasted, right? Now, a friend of mine told me that he got the error E2. What could it mean? Well, it simply means that after the blood sample was dropped on the strip, the strip reagent somehow uh, got wasted and the strip is now useless. You simply need to get the new strip. However, if it comes again and again, the error E2, I am telling you E2, the error comes again and again. Let me show you. Here we have error E1. If there is error E2, then it could mean simply that the strip is useless. Replace it with a newer strip or if the whole lot of your strips is giving the error let's say this is a 10 strips pack uh, if you have a 50 or 100 strips pack they are giving error then do check the expiry on the strips that if the date has not reached or you did not store them adequately now if there is error e4 it would simply mean that you were using it with the usb connector and somehow error occurred simply remove the usb connector or plug it again and, and you will need to repeat the test. Now error E5 means that there is too much uh, signals of Wi-Fi or uh, cellular network around you. Just change the position because it is mingling with the circuitry of this device. I am telling you this thing about error E5. About error E4, I told you that it is about USB connection E4 and E5 about cellular or Wi-Fi signals issue. 
and uh, if you do not get the e5 error then simply do not worry about that and error another thing is that if you have error e5 it would mean that there is too much light perhaps falling on this sensor you know that this sensor turns on with a red light beneath uh, so if there is too much light falling over here then it will also give error e5 so in that case you should move to a shady area well um, in um, a normal setting where in the room you have uh, um, a normal light what can i say a normal light is well i feel if you feel that uh, um, a well lit room will not give this an error unless you are poking flashlight or a big thousand watt leds um, over this area i do not think so that that is mostly the case so e5 error could be due to two things too much light falling on the sensor or too much of the electromagnetic or cellular radiations let's say if i am holding a flashlight directly over it it could give error e5 and now if it gives e e e error it simply means that um, the glucometer is having some issue with circuitry and you need to contact the support you may always repeat it with new and newer glucometer strips but if it continues to give e e e error then obviously there is an issue with the glucometer and uh, lastly if it is giving inverted f inverted f inverted f then it is basically writing t okay so a t will be seen as inverted f okay small t it means temperature t t t t it means that you are uh, you have got to use this device according to the manual between 8 degrees and 42 degrees celsius so if you are there at 60 degrees celsius 55 degrees celsius 50 degrees celsius let's say the device was stored uh, in the uh, diggy in the or in the over the dashboard over the dashboard of your car where direct sunlight was falling on it and the device is too hot it could give T T T error i hope this was useful again i wish you good luck for your health your the health of your loved one and i hope uh, i made it clear for you to understand these errors prayers for dr tosif umar for you allah hafiz